benefiting a lot, like I say, that we practice fair trade. They already have got structures. Uh, by the time, you know, when I approached them, they didn't realize that they can, have, they can make a living utilizing, you know, the indigenous plants that they have. So when I went there, I taught them to how to make structures. And at the same time, they must, they, they must know, they must find out what is the value of the oils that they are selling. So right now, at the end of the month, they know that they, I mean, I pay them. I pay them because I buy the raw materials from them. We already have a memorandum. So when, pe when people are buying our products, they're not only sub sub su I mean supporting divine crop, but you're also supporting the raw communities because that's where we get the, the raw. Mm -hmm. For an example, right now, is you are aware that we now have got this bubble juice. For this bubble juice, um, I, I buy about 50, I, I use about 50 kgs. I can use it to make about uh, four batches. Just so meaning that in a month I can take about 50 by 5 k 50 kgs and each kg if each 50 kg is about hundred dollars okay so they get a lot of money and we make it a point that we give them what they deserve we don't manipulate or whereby we go and say can I have your powder and I give you some clothes no we give them money they have a business and right now, uh, when we used to get the, the raw materials from them, you know, they will bring the, 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 the oil in, in a Mazoe container. But we taught them quality. We taught them quality. Now, you know, they, they brand. I make it a point that when I get the, the, the oil from them, it will be branded in a dojo community, and they, there's an address there. So they, are now, they, now have a, they now have a business idea. You know, they now see that, okay, they can make a living from, from this raw material. Okay. So, 